Hey guys, Henry Nicole Beauty here, back at you with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about a makeup brand that I don't personally like. I have been wearing makeup since the start of sixth grade. I'm about to go into eighth. Um, and the first makeup I got was Neutrogena. Neutrogena is the company I'm going to be talking about today, and I'm going to be talking about my experience with it. If it works for you, you do that. But I'm just going to tell you my opinions, and there are a few good products that I have over here that I will be talking about, but today I'm going to be telling you why I don't necessarily like the brand for makeup. So, let's get right into the video. So, um, like I said, I have been wearing makeup since sixth grade, and the first brand I ever got was Neutrogena. Neutrogena is a very natural company and supposed to help you from getting acne, which I do think it does a decent job of. But the thing is about Neutrogena is for me, the makeup literally fell off your face. You would put on powder and it would, like it's a pretty, like it seemed like a good powder, put it on and 10 minutes later it'd be gone. It'd be gone. Um, and there, I am very pale as you can see, um, a little sunburned <laughs> right now, but I'm very pale and their lightest foundation was orange. I kid you not, orange. So, I didn't like putting on their liquid foundations because I was orange. <laughs> and I really didn't like their products for quality. Because yes, they did help you from getting acne, or were they really because they weren't staying on. So, there are a few good products from Neutrogena, I have to admit, which is their acne products, like this one right here, which is their um, Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Glowing Scrub. I actually do really like this product. It really clears up the skin, and I recommend using a cleansing brush with it for the full effect, but that is a good product, and most of their acne products are very nice, so if you want to try an acne wash, go for it. Um, and the one makeup section of Neutrogena I really like is their lippies, or lipsticks, lip glosses, um, chapsticks. <laughs> um, I actually really love this product. This is an everyday product for me. It's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Lip Shine. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in, so it keeps your lips hydrated if you're one of those people that have really chapped lips. And it does have a fair amount of pigment. I can swatch it um, for you. And I do, my family really does like the Neutrogena lip products. Um, they're, they're pretty darn nice lip products, if I do say so myself. They keep your lips hydrated and not beautifully chapped with the best amount of pigment, not overboard or overkill just enough, but that's the only makeup products I like. Um, because they do stay on for a fair amount of time, I do have to say these are probably a little more sticky lip glosses than normal, um, gloss, like from higher end brands, but I, the main point of this video, let me just get to it is unless you want to invest your money in two of these things, and this is a very inexpensive brand, so some people try it, but unless you want to go for their lip products or their acne products, their acne washes in particular, um, I recommend the brand for you because it's a very nice brand for those two things if you have chap lips and you um, need a bit better acne wash, but it's not the 
it's literally not a very good brand for if you want good quality makeup. I would suggest Maybelline, Wet n Wild, CoverGirl if you like very light makeup. Um, are way better brands in my opinion because they actually cover and stay on for a fair amount of time. And I've tried those brands. Um, but personally, right now, I am really into the brand Tarte. It is a higher-end brand, but it's vegan and it's worked better to, with my skin than any Neutrogena product ever did. It stays on longer and it's better for your skin because it's all natural ingredients. And it may cost more, but the quality you use less, that gives you more so it lasts longer. So I would recommend doing other brands and like I do almost all my face and high-end makeup now especially this face today but I always use this every day um, and I would highly recommend you investing in the two products I've mentioned in this video if you have the same sort of problems I do but just stay away from Neutrogena in general. I don't think it's the best brand. Even though it helps acne, it's not necessarily high quality and gives you the pigment you want or the coverage um, for your face. So, and it comes with a lot of fallout in their products and it's just a whole mess. That's it for today's video and I'm not telling you to if you already enjoy a different product from Neutrogena that works for you, it works for you, but I'm just telling you my specific experience. And that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or turn on the little notification bell down below because I'm just starting out on YouTube and it would be a really big help to me if you joined my little unicorn fam. And um, yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.